Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm in Lightroom and I'm having a go at a landscape photo. Just working through some ideas and tips and tricks for getting the most out of landscapes in Adobe Lightroom. And I gotta say these new masking capabilities that they released recently are just really, they're mind boggling. They're really good. I'm having a great time with it. It's caused me to, it's kind of rejuvenated my interest in using Lightroom. Hence the uh, recent videos about them, which you can find in that playlist there. Uh, here's the photo and I'm gonna go through a number of different things and kind of share my workflow here in terms of how I wanna handle this photo. I'm going to start by going a little bit left here on the um, uh, temperature and then a little bit right on the tint. And then for contrast, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going kind of high. I'm going to about 50 or so. Also going to pull the highlights down pretty significantly, like a negative 45 or 6, something like that. And the shadows are going to go up massively, like an 80, you know, 83, 84, something like that. So you know, let me show you the before and after. There it is before, and there it is after. I like the color a little bit better. It's a little bit brighter, but there's a number of things I want to work on. The great thing about these masks is it makes it so easy to kind of isolate particular sections of the photo. That's what we're going to do first. I'm going to click on uh, the new mask, and I'm going to select sky. So it'll go ahead and that'll build that out. It'll take a second, and there it is. My sky is masked and ready to go. So I've got all these adjustments here. I'm gonna go in and make some adjustments. I'm gonna go a little warmer here in the sky and a bit more of the tint. I'm gonna to go to about 32 or something, something about like that. I'm gonna increase the exposure a little bit. I'm gonna go, let's see, about a 23. I'm gonna take down the contrast. And so um, taking down the contrast is gonna help me lighten up those clouds a little bit. Some of those clouds are kind of dark and I wanna lose some of that. Uh, so negative contrast helps with that. I'm also going to go negative on highlights, so like a negative 12 or 13. Uh, shadows are going to go up a bit, so like mid-30s. And I'm going to take texture down. That's going to help soften the sky overall, and that's just a look that I like. It's just a personal preference. I kind of like the softer, kind of dreamy skies, especially when there's a fair bit of uh, cloud in it. And another thing you can do is take dehaze and go left with it as well, and uh, that'll give it a little bit of a glow almost, as you can see there. Now that's... Um, Maybe a little bit much. I might pull that back a little bit, but it's a nice little way to kind of lighten up and kind of brighten that sky. Um, and then I'm going to give it a little bit of saturation because, you know, it was a nice sunset. I want to bring some of that to life. And so there you go. If I turn this off, if uh, you look at the before and after for the sky, it's quite a bit different. And that's what's so nice about these masks. Immediately mask the area for me so I can be specific with all my, you know, edits, you know, super targeted, and yet still have a lot of control because I have all these sliders that I get to play with. So, Having done that, I'm going to create a new mask, and I'm also going to select sky again, but I'm going to invert it here. And so let me go ahead and do that. Oops, uh, not off. I'm going to click here and click invert. And so now I've selected everything but the sky, so uh, all the foreground, right? And what I want to do here is I'm going to go also a little bit warmer, but I didn't want to go quite as warm. And I'm going to give it a little bit of tint um, and just a little bit of that. So like a 14 and a 7 roughly. That's quite a bit less than I did in the sky, but you've already got such warm sunlight there in the uh, in the sand coming through that I didn't want to really overdo it. I am going to bump up the exposure here, so like low 60s. It's giving better visibility into the photo, um, and of course, I think it kind of accentuates that sunshine um, shining in and uh, hitting the sand. So a little clarity is always good. I like clarity quite a bit, and I've been using it in some of my skies, but I don't want to use it in this one because I'm going for a little bit more of a dreamy look here, but I think the clarity helps um, with that foreground and then also a little bit of saturation not a ton but like a you know 12 13 something like that so if i turn this mask off you can see the before and after for the foreground there it is before darker not quite as vibrant and now really looks like that sun is really beaming through those clouds hitting that beach and just kind of washing it with warm golden light which is the kind of the look I was going for. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to get another mask, and this one's going to be a luminance range mask. And the cool thing is you can take this dropper, basically, and move it around and find the place that you want to click, and I ended up clicking there. And what that did is that created um, a whole bunch of uh, masks in you know cer uh, certain specific areas, but actually went the opposite of that, so I'm actually going to click invert. And so now this edit is basically just going in that part of the sky that you can kind of see the pink in. So if I take the invert off, you can see that the luminance mask, it covered a whole lot of the photo, and I really kind of wanted the opposite piece, so I just inverted and it uh, works out great. So having done that, all I want to do here is just add a little bit more warmth and a little bit more tint. So I'm going to like a 30 or so, you know, 28, uh, maybe a little bit less, uh, maybe something like that. And then the tint is also going to go up. I'm creating a little bit of a vibrant scene here. 
So maybe something about like that, but actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna pull that down a little bit. I don't wanna overdo that color, and I actually might pull the saturation down slightly. Let me look at this before and after. So there it is before, a little bit more muted, that sort of thing, and after, now it's a little bit more vibrant. I also like how the warm light is hitting the rest of these clouds, and a lot of that's due to the luminance mass that I just added. So I think I'm okay with it there. And the last thing I wanna do is go get a radial mass, so a radial gradient, as they call it here. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this right in this area. And so this is gonna be basically focused on the sun. And so what I wanna do is once again, just warm it up a little bit. I'm gonna give it a little bit more of that warm golden light. Um, you know, that's basically in, direct, in the direct path of the sun. So I'm trying to make a little bit more intensity there. And I'm gonna give it a little bit brighter look as well. I think that looks nice. A little bit almost like it has a glow. And speaking of glow, uh, texture to the left to reduce a little bit of the, uh, the crispiness there. And dehaze, as I said earlier, gives a little bit of a glow. So I'm gonna take that down like a negative six, seven, whatever it is. And maybe a little bit more saturation. Maybe something about like that. I'm basically just kind of isolating that section. And if I go uh, show the overlay, you can kind of see what it looks like. But basically taking that section around the sun, creating a little bit softer look there because I'm just trying to give it a little bit more of a glow, for lack of a better word. So now that I've done that, if I show you what I did with the masks before and after, that's all the masks. There it is before. Definitely a lot more contrast and darker in, in areas. And now a lot brighter, a lot more vibrant, a lot more dreamy. It's really giving me the look that I want. I think the only thing I'm gonna do is the clouds are actually a little too much for me, so I'm actually gonna pull this tint down a little bit overall. So I'm gonna go to maybe about a five or so instead of, I think it was at a 12. So I think that's pulled in that color a little bit. I think it was getting a little too much, and I like my color. I can't help it, but I, I definitely want it to be kind of soft, kind of dreamy, but realistic, and so I think that looks nice. Now, again, if you look at the before and after, Definitely darker, definitely more muted. You can tell it was a beautiful sunset, but the edit, uh, obviously without the edit, it's not coming to life. And there it is edited. This is a raw file, by the way. And here using all these different masks, so a radial, a luminance mask, and then of course the sky selection and the inversion of that for the ground really gives me a nice bit of control over the image. And if you look here, like the way the sun is, it's hitting these rocks, it's coming in, it's kind of beaming, but it's not getting all the way over here because if you remember the way we controlled it with that um, radial mask, you can see it's not gonna come all the way over here. So it almost looks like, you know, the light can't penetrate to that side because it's too, um, it's, it's too shadowed away from the, uh, from the direct sunlight. So um, I like how you can do that and control the look of the photo. It really comes in handy, gives you a lot of great control. That's my edit for this one. Just wanted to share the, uh, the ideas that I have here and hope that it gives you some ideas about how you can edit things in your own photos. Thanks for watching, my friends. I'll catch you in the next video. Let me know if you have other things in Lightroom you'd like me to explore. I'm having fun making videos about Lightroom. Of course, I'll keep doing videos about the other stuff that I love. So anyway, any ideas or feedback, let me know down below. I'll see you next time, my friends. Take care of yourselves. And until then, adios.